Hello, my name is Crystal Nassar. I'm with Tuscany Florist in Rancho Mirage, California, and I'm going to show you how to hand tie a bridal bouquet. I have my roses ready. They've been sitting in water, so I'm going to make sure that the stems are nice and dry, and the surface is dry so we don't get our ribbon wet. And I've chosen to do two different ribbons. I'm going to do the main color is like a cappuccino, kind of like a dark ivory ribbon. Going to tie at the top first, the very top of the bouquet, a tight knot, as high as I can go. Okay. Now I'm going to make sure that the ribbon is not uh, folded over and creased as, as smooth as possible along the stems. We're going to cover up this, um, the hardware here, this rubber band, and just wrap around as evenly as possible and as smooth as possible along the stems. Okay. Now I'm going to take the other side that I've left hanging and I'm going to go in the opposite direction of the first, the first um, ribbon hanging. So now we're going opposite and I'm going nice and smooth, covering it. Okay, I only had to go two times. I'm going to tie a knot at the bottom. Don't let go. Okay. So I'm just tying my knot here. and tight. Let's see. A lot of times I try to get it as even with the first knot on top as possible, but if you don't, that's okay. I'm just going to leave the ribbon hanging for now. I've got it nice and tight. This is something you could, you could use. If you just want it nice and simple, cut your ribbons. You could tie something on top if you want it hanging from the top. But I'm going to do something a little bit fancy today. I'm going to take a contrasting color. This could match the girls' dresses or some of the flowers in the bouquets. This matches these lavender flowers beautifully. So I'm going to do, like I did, tie another knot on top as high as I can go above the same, above the first knot, the beige knot. Okay. I just took them around the stems and just twisted it once, twisted the ribbon once around each other. So it looks like you're braiding. You're really not braiding. You're just twisting the ribbon just one time and again. And I'm going to finish doing it one more time around back. We could get fancy. I'm just going to do three twists, or two twists, and then tie the knot at the bottom again. And I'm going to show you something with my pearls that ties it off, finishes it off. I'm just going to take a few out of the box here. And what I'm going to do is stick the pin in the stems, in the knot. Be careful, don't hurt yourself. And you have a beautiful accent to this bouquet. It looks like, you know, paid a lot of money for this. Then you want to finish off the uh, ribbon. I like to do my ribbons kind of in a more vintage style. And here's your hand-tied bridal bouquet.